Get started in using the FSC Internet Gateway, you need to log on from a workstation running TCP IP to the Internet Gateway machine itself. I was the FSC Internet Architect in designing how the Gateway would be put together in the hardware and software, the security, etc., that it took to put the Gateway together. I'm currently acting now as the Internet Coordinator to facilitate the rollout of the Gateway to each of the FSC sites. Today, information is probably the most valuable business currency. Internet, which is a collection of more than 8,000 networks, allows us to exploit information as never before. Here at FSC, we've had the advantage of using Internet email, which really allows us to break the electronic bonds of IBM. Now, with the establishment of an FSC gateway, which allows us into Internet even more than before, we have the advantage of using such fast, interactive, collaborative tools as FTP and Telnet, which really allow us to log on to remote computers, look through the database, search the files, and pull software and files into our system. It's a tremendous productivity tool. I urge anyone who has a thirst for information to go and test drive the Internet Gateway, and I think you'll find it a great, great productivity tool for the future being driven by the FSC Infrastructure Council, which is a headquarters-funded council group with representatives from each of the FSC sites um, meeting to roll out the infrastructure implementation at each FSC location. Well, I've gone into the Rutgers computer database, and they have some marvelous online tools there, such as reference materials uh, concerning the Oxford English Dictionary, uh, familiar quotations, things like this. For someone with a communications background, these are great online tools which really can enhance productivity. Currently, I'm using the Internet in basically three ways. I transfer files to and from uh, systems outside of IBM using the file transfer protocol. I correspond with customers outside of IBM using Internet mail capability. And I read news articles and forums, or the equivalent of forums, on the outside newsreaders and again seeing customer reactions and corresponding in a public forum with customers. I think everyone's pretty familiar with the internet mail capability that we've had around for a while, the user at VNet IBM com, but this gateway is designed to, to bring us even more internet connectivity. It lets us do outbound Telnet and FTP, which is the remote logon and file transfer protocols used on the internet. Uh, it's there to give us a little bit more functionality than the Internet mail capabilities that we've been using for several years now. We've been using Internet for uh, several activities. Uh, of course, uh, email, uh, electronic mail to a wide variety of people uh, on our contract and subcontractors and uh, the um, uh, customer themselves and other people in the academia. Um, fields that we're, we're investigating. But we've also used uh, internet for service to uh, machines that we have uh, placed in various locations that we're uh, doing demonstrations on. And we also use it for uh, file transfer and moving uh, large amounts of data back and forth between the various participants in the STARS project. College students or IBMers who are taking college classes inside of IBM through the graduate work study program or even on their own can use the new FSC Internet Gateway to create a terminal session with their user account on their uh, college or university computer system. Most of the colleges and universities are on the Internet and what they can do with this is they can send notes to professor, do their homework right from their VM screen or from their PC sitting in their office. Uh, on the IBM STARS team we've been using uh, internet for five years since the beginning of the project. Um, we've been providing this service ourselves and what we look forward to is the day now that the site will be providing the same service and we'll be able to connect with it and uh, free the engineers on our team to go off and do other things that uh, are under contract to do. The FSC Gateway eventually is going to allow us to tap into very powerful databases. For example, right now you can go into a Library of Congress database and pull out legislative information. Uh, you can go into a number of databases for a number of government agencies and pull out very valuable information. So over the long term, I see as this tool becomes much more refined and many more people use it, 
it's going to be a great productivity enhancement for all fsc'ers.